Illustrator CS5 and creating bevels for the extrude effect. So I'm just going to select and this is on the PC, you can do similar sort of thing on the Mac, it's a different file location but uh, I'm just going to create a path for the actual bevels file. You can find out information about the location on the web but uh, this is just for the PC. Right, just going to see that and I'll quickly show the effect 3D extrude and bevel. So there you, are. you can do that. I'm just going to increase the size of the extrude depth and I'm just going to add a bevel. So you see the bevels here, you've got classic. These are all the ones that come with Illustrator. So you can do press things. I'm just going to create a slightly bigger height so you can actually see the bevel there. Right, now once you've done that, I'm just going to cancel at this point. Cancel. And I'm just going to go and open a bevels.ai file. Now you can find that in program files on your PC in, on C drive. Program files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator CS5, support files, required resources, and then en underscore gb. Well, it probably might be en underscore us, depends on the location. Now, of course, there's many other en underscores. So anyway, pick that one. And then once you're in that folder, you can go to the bevels.ai file, open that file. Now you actually find that you, when you come to save it, you might be asked for, uh, you can't save it because it says read only. And that's obviously a problem. You might have to set permission to actually be able to modify it. So click on there and you can set the control on that. Of course, you might be using a full system account or administrator account. But I'm actually using just a standard account, so which doesn't have access. But uh, obviously, it depends on your system. So click cancel there. I've actually so I've made it so I can save it and some should save it hopefully. Okay. So I'm going to open that, open that file. Now I've actually created some already. Here's the ones that come with Illustrator. They're actually saved already in there. Now I'm just going to select one that I've created earlier. That's actually a symbol already. So obviously, I'm just going to go over and create a another one. So there's so just a basic simple line and I'm just going to do, I don't know, just make it so the mirror tool there. Uh, I'm just going to create a slightly uh, zigzag design. Oops, maybe change that around a bit. Right, so that's, it's basically it needs to be an open line. So just basically select the line segment tool. Just create that. So it's, it's fairly simple. That's the basic default line that you need to use. It needs to be an open path, not a closed path. Right. So right, you've got that. Then you just simply drag that over to the symbols palette. You find the symbol palette in the Windows menu there, window menu. And so the graphic. And you can give it a name at this point. I'm just going to. one okay and, and it's saved in the symbols palette now next I'm going to say save as bevel save as replace yes please please save it yep okay and it does save it I did sometimes find that if you do save it uh, seems to come up and uh, say that it's a read error still so uh, so save as seems to work a bit better than uh, the uh, thing. Right, now I've done that. Save that thing so you can see it there. I can see in the symbol. And I'm going to exit. You need to exit at this point. So click new. Don't want to save that. Yep, right. Then I'm just going to start up AI again. Not the quickest of things, but it's going to go through all the update font menu and everything else. Right, oh, reasonably quick. Okay, and then I'm just going to create a similar thing. New. Then I'm going to quickly create a quick path, again, okay, slightly bigger path. Red. Right. And now I've got that selected. Effect, 3D, extrude, and bevel. And click the preview. Going to increase the extrude depths. I'm going to now look down the bevels. So hopefully, if it all went well, 
So it's got all down. Crackle one is just down the bottom. Hey, it's actually put it in there. So it's actually there. Now you can't see much because it's only got a height of four. So I'm just going to increase the height to make it a bit more, uh, bit more uh, visible. Yeah, there it is. So you've actually got now the exciting new uh, bevel design actually added to the uh, to the list and obviously you can set the uh, subtracted and also bevel is added to the original object etc right click ok at that point and so you've got your bevel uh, there's uh, probably bevel dot files around on the web um, but like I say it's fairly simple to create your own and, and save those sort of designs I mean you can use obviously tools I've used uh, in this tutorial I quickly used a thing called mirror it's a plugin that's available on the web that's uh, very good, very good tool. Uh, it comes with a number of other things like cut, rectangular cut, tile, rosette, and spike. Very useful for things like uh, closed or open bars for creating designs for bevels. Okay, thanks. Bye.